Why'd you hang up those blankets in your bed? Ooh. Oh, because y'all were just talking. <laughs> no, I got it. Yeah, go Fessy. Fessy, why did you hang up blankets over your bed? Because we had strobe lights on the outside of the challenge house and they would shine into the room and you couldn't go to sleep. So I would do that for my eyes. Okay. Hey, it's Devin Simone, and we are back with Nani, Anissa, Fessy, Kyle, and Casey from the Challenge Double Agents. And this week's episode, we start with a nighttime mission, and they have to do some excruciating tasks. And then Fessy is yet again in the middle of the drama, and our girl Nani finally gets her skull. Let's get into it. All right, agents, your night of hell begins right now. All right, let's get into it. Anissa, can you set up this challenge mission for us? So this nighttime challenge, mind you, smells like an old seafood bin. It smells like rotting fish, but it's a bunch of um, cages and inside the cages are tasks that we're gonna have to do throughout the night. The end result is to get out of this like cell. And then Fessy, so you essentially the bed, I mean, because you refuse to eat. What's going on here, sir? I knew I was gonna get stolen tonight by either Nani or Gabby. Those were the two girls going in. When Anissa was kind of hesitant to eat, I was like, well, I'm not gonna be the first one to eat. When Anissa was kind of hesitant because I was kind of hesitant, I was like, well, I already know what the outcome of tonight's gonna be anyway. So that's kind of where that was. Anissa, you're making a face. Tell me, what are you thinking? I mean, some of this shit is news to me. I love when Fessy talks about shit afterwards. Like, so all these girls came up to me and they wanted to steal me because I'm the shit. So I wasn't gonna eat anything. You weren't gonna eat anything because you don't like to eat. These gram balls were not going in your mouth. Let's I'm be real on that. I'm I not gonna eat everything because balls. I knew you weren't gonna eat. But at least let me know that like, there's a, another side of it, so I don't have to come on the after show and find out, well, also, because these girls are going to steal me. That's but another you, reason, strategically, I that, wasn't eating. You could have just said that. Kick his ass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> town girl. You found that out. You found that you out. You know me. I can get over s***. I'd rather you just be straight up with me the whole time. I'm trying to you be straight are, up with you right now, and you're not Well, not it's a little too late. We already did it. Balls I mean, were in my mouth. They were not in yours. <laughs> that challenge was hilarious, though. Why do you think it was so funny, Kyle? I ate a little bit of the, like, food. You ate most I, of it, I'm Kyle. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, gulping it down. I'm, like, I'm like, like, two bites away from finishing it. And then I look over at Nanny and go, come on, Nanny, we need to win this so you can get your gold skull. Nanny's like, I can't eat that. I'm like, <laughs> what is this Kyle, how did you not puke? Because you told us that you're the puker. Like, you've thrown up multiple times in challenges. <laughs> Uh, I don't really puke off food. It's more like either like exercise or running. Um, like uh, that's what I puke off. But yeah, I, I tried my hardest in that challenge, and then she just left me like I was nothing. <laughs> Casey, let's talk about you. You and Leroy win again. This is your third win, the most of any pair. Are you starting to feel like you and Leroy might have like a thing? You might be a dynamic duo. Me and Leroy worked so well together, man. Like we barely, we even, we barely talk inside the house, but for some damn reason, we work so well together. As soon as the challenge day comes. That's a really interesting dynamic. Cause I feel like on the aftermath, different pairings have come on and talked about the challenge or the struggle between their communication with their partner. And you're basically saying, look, we don't, we don't talk to each other when we're in the house. Like it's sort of you do you, I do me. We don't even notice each other's there, but on game day, we come and get it done. We already know. We came into the house with two different alliances. We're not gonna switch each other's mind and be like, hey, you know, come on my side, do this. But when we do communicate very well when it comes to, you know, the missions and the challenges and uh, just getting it done. How are you feeling about winning this balls challenge? Me and Leroy both have our gold skulls, so we didn't have to win it. And not even my girl, so it's like, and same with Leroy. So we're like, okay, well, if we can win this, Let's help her and put her in a position where, you know, she might be able to get her goals goal. So it worked out. You brought up a good point, right? So let's talk deliberation. I just want to start off by saying Big T is rogue, which means the chances of this next elimination is most likely girls, right? There's only three girls without a gold skull, one of which is Big T, and then that leaves Gabby and I. And so Gabby and I, we both want to go in and try to get our gold skull, and we'd appreciate it if you guys could help us out. 
Yeah, if we can make me the house vote, because I think Casey and Leroy would definitely have your back and yeah. throw you a bone and throw you in. Yeah. Nani, people are trying to kind of position to help you, you know, go in to get your skull. How do you feel about that? I don't think people understand. This is the first season that I've ever done where I could honestly look around and be like, I have a solid group of friends here. Those friendships for me, I mean, it worked out. I had a lot of people in this particular moment that had my back, they knew I wanted my gold skull and they did what they could to help me. So I was very grateful. And speaking about like friendship or at least people where you go way back. So there was a lot of drama surrounding Fessy in this particular episode. You know, Nani, you told Anissa if you win that you were gonna take Fessy. Uh, Anissa, you plead with Nani for her not to take Fessy. Can you guys talk me through kind of what the feelings are there? Cause you guys have history what? anyway. Please. Like outside of Hold on, no, 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 Anissa. Wait, let's clear that up because Anissa and I have the type of relationship where we say things without saying it. So I looked at her and I said, Anissa, would you be mad if somebody stole Fessy? And she said, Nani, I would be more mad if he left me again. And I said, okay. And then we sat in a room and she was like, you don't seem happy. And then I was crying. I was like, you're right. I'm I so hard on myself. I know that, this. I know that. But first of all, how worry. long have you been doing this? Forever. You're feeling this way over somebody who was on his I second season. Like I picked him for a reason. Don't be all emotional, Missy. I know you want to take him. Do what you got to do. Like, yeah. do what you got to do. I'm... Just don't me. I'm going to be in that final. And if I cry about it until we get there, then that's what I'm doing if that's what I need to do. I mean, she did me a favor in hindsight. She looked up at me after elimination. She was like, you sure? And I was, I said to her, I'm like, if this is gonna help your game and not mine, like then by all means, go and do what you gotta do. But I wasn't afraid to have Kyle. I was like, whoo, let's go <laughs> K-Dog. Yes. Let's, let's bring the pain. Cause I think in the moment you can't help but take it personally if your partner leaves. So I just wanted to, you know, a heads up, some respect. And like, I got that from some people and, and that's really all I wanted. Oh, that's good. And Fessy, you know, you and Gabby are sort of a thing at this point. How does it feel knowing all these other girls want you as a partner? Does that create any tension? Or are you just like riding high off of that because you have options and it's good for the game? I think because it was a partner situation, a lot of people got attached to their partners. Like Anissa was saying, you know, and the thing was, I knew the structure of this season was going to be absolutely insane and there was going to be a lot of moving pieces and shit was going to happen. So in my head, I knew I was going to get stolen uh, a couple a couple times. And I thought the way the girls should look at it as they were just doing what was what they thought was best for their game. Kyle, you seem petrified uh, to get back with Anissa. Uh, what's going on there? Why is that? Um, first off, I want to say Nanny is a scumbag for leaving me. Um, <laughs> utter scumbag. Complete utter scumbag. I thought we had you a good thing going. You left me the going. first time. Um, and she just left me. She left me. In the dust. <laughs> like I was nothing. Me and Anissa didn't get on from day one. Uh, I thought she was amazing. I thought she was an incredible person. Oh. And then she just threw me in like I was nothing. So she threatened like <laughs> as well. It was just two scumbags that one of them didn't want me and one of them. And you're just a saint, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah he was exactly. A saint. Too. We came together as scumbags. <laughs> Casey, so word on the street is, is that you tend to be vague. Is that a part of your strategy? Ooh. Yes. Maybe. Yes. 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 Speaking of me. Speaking of me. Any questions ever? Maybe. No You're question, not fooling Casey. anyone anymore, Casey. This season, I wasn't as vague as I usually am. Now, when I say vague, I mean, like, I don't make promises I don't, I can't keep, right? I'm just honest with everybody, right? Every time I voted towards someone, I would let them know. I would let them know. I let everybody know. Oh, she voted for me. She told me I hated her for one whole day. <laughs> one whole day. <laughs> yep. I was mad for 24 hours, and then I got over it. It's a game. <laughs> Let's talk about the elimination. Tonight you are playing Operation Ring of Spies. To begin, you're going to start on the opposite sides of the crater. And when I say go, you're going to have to make a leap for the ring and grab it before your opponent. From there, it's an all-out battle to get it placed on one of your posts. It's the best of three, so the first agent to get two rings on their posts will win tonight's elimination round and earn that gold skull, which qualifies you to run my final. 
Good luck. So Nani, can you set up this elimination for us? Yeah, so I walk in and we see a ring in the sand. So obviously we know it's gonna be physical. Long story short, we had to start on opposite sides, run to the center of the ring, grab the ring, and then place it on our poles. Yeah, and so Nan, tell me about that. You go in, you crush it, you beat Gabby. I have not won an elimination in seven years. I remember when I won, I remember laying in the sand, staring up into the sky thinking, holy shit. Like, I haven't felt this feeling in so long. Mm -hmm. It was the best feeling ever. Here's the thing, going into that elimination, you know, everyone's thinking like, oh, you know, Nani's got going against a rookie, like, lucky her. But at the end of the day, I've lost in eliminations two rookies before. I'll tell you what though, Gabby Gabby is, looks strong too. Gabby, Gabby is Gabby looks strong. really strong. Yeah. Gabby was yeah. dragging me, dragging me in that yeah. game. That girl is brolic, so don't ever, like, let it like fool you. Just because it's her first season doesn't mean anything. That girl is strong. And Nan, I heard that there were moments that you felt like you wanted to sort of leave the challenge house. Like you were over it or it was just a lot. Was this a moment that like reinvigorated you or made you kind of feel like, yeah, I can keep going, I can keep pushing? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I think it has a lot to do with the fact that, my God, I have done so many seasons back to back and I've gone out the same way every single time. I've lost an elimination right before the final. So towards like mid to end of the season, I just remember thinking like, okay, like you can, you can, you might be able to do this. I just, I felt like I had like that fire again, you know? Yeah, definitely. Speaking of fire, um, everyone's favorite dysfunctional couple. I feel like you guys and your partnerships are like marriages, by the way. And the same way marriages can be great, they can be terrible. And Kyle and Anissa, Y'all's marriage would probably fall not in the great category, but in the other one. But you guys Listen. are back together again <laughs> now. How do you feel about this marriage coming back together? Oh, we 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 were the, we were a couple from hell. I love Kyle, so I was happy to have him. At first, me and Anissa, like we kind of had this like love hate thing where she loved me and I hated her. Why didn't you like Anissa at first, or what was what is there not to like about Anissa? She threw Thank me you. in. And you she got a gold skull. And then you yeah, got exactly. partnered with Cam. So all we of those threw things you are a great. We threw bone to a rookie, man. We let you go. No, the you didn't. The <laughs> threw you a bone, man. Get over it. <laughs> if you were in a challenge and you went in on the first day, let's, let's see how you all feel. <laughs> I hear you on that, Kyle. Bessie, so, you know, Nani crushed it, right? Crushed it in her elimination, which means Gabby goes home. How do you feel about that? It would have been cool for for Gabby to steal me and see what happened with that. But I was I was happy to be partnered with Nani because I know, you know, her heart, she doesn't quit. So, you know, it was as sad as I was to see Gabby go, I was excited to be partners with Nani. And Bessie, I heard that you um, wrote Gabby a little note. We, we genuinely didn't get to know each other that well in the house because I think she was so paranoid and Devin and Kyle and CT were in her ear saying that I was only talking to her to get closer to her in the game. And I was like, Gabby, like, I didn't, Politic with Gabby one time. How does that make sense that these guys are telling you that I'm getting, I'm talking to you to get to you to vote or do something my way when I, I've never asked you. We're so deep in the game. I don't ask you to vote. I just genuinely just hang out with you and, and talk to you. So that's kind of what I said in the, le in the letter. I was just like, you know, it was, it was cool getting to know you. It wasn't just for the game. You know, I, like I genuinely enjoyed your conversations. Is that what it said? Because it, I think it said something like, Gabby, I'll see you when I'm done winning the final. I think it's more than an attraction. We should definitely give it a chance. Bye for now, beautiful. <laughs> oh my yes. goodness. That sounds no, right. No, no. I think that one was a little edited, maybe a little TV magic sprinkle on it, but that wasn't the, that wasn't the... <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> That wasn't the hard that wasn't the hard copy. No. Nah. I'm gonna share my screen really quick with you guys so you can see this. Here you go. <laughs> I told you we've got receipts. We've got receipts. How did they Girl, this and that is definitely his handwriting. I can match it up. You know, we're just giving you a hard time because it's fun and we love you. We love you all. And I love you all so much that I'd be remiss if I didn't end this episode of The Aftermath without doing my favorite thing. You guys already know, what is my favorite thing? Games! Yes! Games! Let's do it. Let's play this game, man. Let's play this game. So this is a good game. I am going to put words on my head 
and you guys will see them. You guys will have to uh, give me descriptors so that I can guess the word uh, without saying it. I have not seen the word, so I don't know what they are. I do know that the category is food challenges. That's all I know. So let me get the cards. Okay, okay, ready? Oh, what you leave for Santa? Uh, cookies and milk. Yep. yep. Good one. It's it's my nickname. It's Spicy my, it's my Sriracha? nickname. Sriracha? No. No, no, no it's, it's my what nickname. Is, what is that? Hot sauce. Come on, yes. Dylan, it's my nickname. Yep. Uh, your nickname. <laughs> Ooh, um, this Beat animal up. goes. Moo. Moo. Cow? <laughs> uh, if you drink a lot, you f up what part of your body? Uh, Cow guts, cow intestines, cow, uh, when you what organs alive, affected by liquor? A oh, cow liver? Yeah. Yes. Cow, okay. Mm -hmm. These are um, hard. You drink this when you don't feel well, but it's made out of what you donate for the Red chicken Cross. Chicken noodle, chicken noodle. Uh, soup? Okay, and yeah, what but do you, it's made out you of what you donate. To get your oh, plasma donate. soup. Nope. No. Oh. oh. Red Cross, <laughs> think about it. Uh, no. Blood, blood yes. soup? Yep. Yeah. Yes. You're there so good, go. Devin. When you get God. married, what is that? Yeah. A yeah. wedding? Me and Nisa will have it And one then day. you cut, on your birthday you cut a... Cake, wedding cake? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Bessie and Anissa are like the Olympic team at this. I know, it's insane. <laughs> thank you so much for playing with me. And of course, thank you for hanging out. I love seeing you guys on the challenge and love getting all the tea and clues about love notes and things that are written after each episode. Tune in next week to the Challenge Aftermath where we'll keep digging up the dirt on this season of the Challenge Double Agents. And now, here's a sneak peek from next week. I just want you to guarantee me you put me higher than money. Whatever it takes to win, that's what I'm going to do. I'm OK with that. You and your partner are going to dive deep down to solve the puzzle. I am so disoriented. <laughs> Let me do it. He's really not much of a help. I'm starting to second guess being partners if we can. What the hell?